Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a comparison video at the range with the Car CM9 and the Glock 43. Both excellent choices for concealed carry. Both very good polymer frame, striker fire, single stack, 9mm handguns. Let's start with the cost. When the CM9 was first introduced, it was a little over $400. That has dropped since. You can pick this gun up in the mid-300s. I think that's a very good deal. When the Glock 43 was introduced, it was every bit of $500, maybe a little bit more. Now you can see it in the mid-400 range. So as far as price is concerned, you can get the car for about $100 less. You'll have to decide if it's worth it. Obviously, I have both, but definitely advantage car on the price. If we look at the size, from this shot here, we can see that the car is shorter. It does have a 3-inch barrel, as where the Glock has a 3.39-inch barrel. So a little bit longer there. We'll do a slight comparison here. See that the Glock goes about 3 quarters of an inch longer. The grip size is approximately the same. And, and the feel of both of the guns is, is very nice. Now we notice with the Glock, it does have... The magazine holds six rounds and it does have a base plate on the bottom of it. Makes for a nice, I'd say, two and a half finger grip on the gun. Not a lot of texturing in the grip itself. Rather, rather smooth. And I think they did it on purpose, you know, so it doesn't rub up against the body. I have not found that to be the case with the quality holster. Here we have the CM9 with a little bit more texturing on the grip. But it does offer a two-finger grip. It also has uh, additional magazines with extensions on there. This one does not. The magazine holds six rounds, single stack, and it is a very light gun. Nice to, nice to carry. I've been carrying it for a while now and have no complaints with the size at all. As we look at the sights, we can see the car has a bar dot sight system. Does have that cutout there. Makes for very little room to play. Pretty accurate shooting in my opinion. The slide width is 0.9 inches. So that is pretty thin for a 9mm handgun. And the serrations are cut fairly deep. So when you go to charge the gun, you get a nice firm grip on there. Nice uh, slide release there. And overall, it has a very nice feel to it. No question about it. The Glock has its standard Glock sights there. Uh, people have mixed opinions about them. I don't seem to mind one bit. Website says one inch thick on the Glock. And the serrations are rather deep too. Makes for no problem charging the gun at all. The, uh, the slide release is standard Glock as well. So if you're a Glock fan, this is going to come a natural normal to you. No question about it. Both work very well. I don't see any advantage or disadvantage with either. Here's the car CM9. Now the Glock 43. Both of the triggers on these guns are double action. We can see the Glock 43 does have a trigger bar there, which is standard with many Glocks. It does have a five and a half pound trigger pull, and upon the cycle, the reset is right there for follow-up shots. Very short trigger travel and follow-up shots make it nice with Glocks no question about it with the car it's also a double action here we have about a six pound trigger pull nice smooth crisp action and almost a full reset there not a lot of trigger play at that full reset you hit the wall right there and it fires I find both of these to be very nice trigger actions they're, they're different but they, they feel fine and once again I don't see an advantage it's more of a, a personal preference thing I, I actually like them both I've come to know both very well although the triggers are different both are very good for follow-up shots and double taps let's start with the car then we'll shoot the Glock To disassemble the Glock 43, it's an easy process. We simply drop the magazine, assure the gun is unloaded, pull the slide back, pull down on the takedown lever, pull the trigger, 
and the gun is disassembled by removing the recoil spring, guide rod, and the barrel. The car is very simple as well. Do the same process here. Drop the magazine, assure the gun is unloaded. We're going to pull back so that these lines match up with each other, or shall I say line up with each other. Simply use the magazine, pull this pin out. We do have to pull the trigger as well, and out comes the guide rod, recoil spring, and the barrel. Also, neither of these guns have a magazine disconnect. Here's a Glock without the magazine. And now the car in the same condition. Either of these guns would make a great concealed carry choice. Both are reliable and accurate and both perform very well. They're also both excellent companies, no question about it. As far as my CCW is concerned, I've, I've carried the car for over five years now. And at this point, I don't see any reason to change it. It has served me well. I like the size and the ease of carry that just works for me. That's not to knock the 43, though. I think Glock did a great job when they came out with the 43. I know a lot of guys are carrying this or trusted their lives with Glock. And I don't see a problem with that either, as I said both would make a great choice if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe